Today I'm asking you to use what you learned about Punnett squares from the last assignment in this new assignment where you'll be looking at uh, fruit flies. So if you open the assignment, you should see Punnett Square Virtual Lab, and the directions say to follow the link to the Punnett Square Virtual Lab. Here's the link right here. Click on the TV in the link to review how to set up Punnett Squares in case you forget. And then also click on the information button to see what organisms you'll be working with. Then follow the on-screen directions to complete the questions and make sure you save and submit your responses. In order to best help you with this, um, I'm going to show you what I'm looking for. Let's first go over your information. Right here in red, make sure you focus on this. You must do the scenario numbers that are listed. There are 10 different scenarios in this virtual lab, but I want you to do the three specific ones that I've chosen. Uh, hit the reset button at the bottom of the lab screen in order to get the correct scenarios, and I'll show you how to do that. So for number one, after clicking on the notebook, you'll be given a scenario in the upper left corner. First, you want to find scenario number one. Let's go ahead over to the virtual lab, and I'm going to open up what something similar that you see on uh, your assignment, things that you need to be filling in while you do the scenario. So, actually, let me start with the full screen. Over here are the directions for the lab in case you need to go back and look at those. Um, over here, you see the reset button. So, that's what you need to use in order to get from one scenario to the next. I'm going to show you the example in scenario number four, which is not one of the ones that you need to do. You need to do scenario one, three, and five. So let's get started. I'll show you how to work this uh, virtual lab, and then you can go ahead and do the three that you need to do. So you can see here I'm looking for first for the parent genotypes. Take a look at the scenario. It says make a cross between the following flies. A homozygous long-winged fly crossed with a heterozygous long-winged fly. So what you need to do first is choose the parents. You're looking for homozygous and long wings. So you can see by the picture that this fly has long wings, this fly has long wings, and this fly has what are called vestigial wings. So you need a homozygous long-winged. We know that big L, little l is heterozygous because it's one of each kind of letter, and big L, big L must be the homozygous. So I'll choose that one for the first parent. Parent number two, it should be a heterozygous long-winged fly. So click on parent two. Again, you get the same three options. I'm looking for heterozygous and long wings. So looking at the pictures, I only have these two to choose from because the third one is vestigial. So this is the heterozygous long-winged fly. You can't go any further until you click check parents. Once you click check parents, you can see that the parent alleles show up on the top and on the outside of the Punnett square. Then, using those alleles, you can click and drag the correct genotypes. Remember, the genotypes show the genes or the alleles. So we have big L, big L. We have another big L, big L. We have big L, little L. And another big L, little L. In addition to the genotypes for the Punnett square, you, for this um, virtual lab, you also need to fill in or click and drag the correct phenotype. So big L, big L, that would produce a long wing fly just like this parent. So I'll click and drag the picture of the long winged flies to those boxes. Big L, little L is also a long winged fly because long wings is dominant to short wings. Then when you think you're finished, check uh, click on check offspring and it will tell you if you have your sound on it will tell you uh, that you have found the correct answer so then you can go over here to what you need to fill in parent genotypes um, you can see here I've said oops this should say uh, big L big L these, sh these should be L's instead of G's so if I click here I can say my first parent was big L, big L, and my second parent was big L, little L. Space that out so I can read it. The next part says fill in the offspring genotypes and the ratio for those genotypes. So offspring genotype, big L, big L, 
and the ratio, how many of the offspring in this Punnett square were big L, big L? Appears to be two out of the four. And the other offspring genotype was big L, little L, and that also had two out of four. And then lastly, the offspring phenotypes. That would be looking at the picture. The phenotype is long wing and four out of the four offspring had long wings. So we don't need this last one. This is what you would copy and paste into your submission box for your answer. Hopefully that helps you if you have any questions about how to do the lab. Uh, let me just go back so you can see what the lab looks like. For information, you can click on the TV and it will run a video showing you how to set up Punnett squares. You can also click the information button right here. And you should be able to find the answers to the other questions on your assignment in that information box. Again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.